Let's talk about brake lever guards. Brake lever guard is designed to do exactly what the name suggests, guard your brake lever. But from what exactly? mainly from accidentally being squeezed. It might seem silly at first, but most racing associations require these. During close races, contact can happen and levers can get bumped. Here's a clip from the 1998 Catalonia 250 race. They're obviously on the front straight carrying a lot of speed. Robbie Rolfo in yellow is passing Jeremy McWilliams, but as Rolfo moves over, he makes accidental contact with McWilliams, specifically his front brake lever. The front tire locks up and McWilliams turns into McSuperman. Just like the fuel filler cap from last week, this TWM lever guard is from Moto Million. They've created a discount code for anyone who sees this video, so if you're looking for a high-end bike accessory, give their site a look and save a little money with that discount code that's in the description. The TWM lever guards are CNC machine from aluminum, or as you crazy Brits call it, aluminium. Quick tangent. The element was named and published in 1807 by Sir Humphrey Davy, an Englishman. What do you think the name was that he published? Aluminum. So where did aluminium come from? Some clown wrote into a political magazine at the time and proposed the new name. They said it had a more classical ring to it. That's the equivalent of some present-day scientist publishing their discovery and then some idiot on Facebook saying, Darn, the name's not fancy enough. Way to go, England. Just wanted to make sure that you know that you say aluminium for the sole purpose of sounding fancy. God save the queen. So let's install this on my 1299. You're going to need a 12, 5, 3, and 2 millimeter hex. Use the 12 hex to remove the stock bar End. Insert the TWM bar end and use a 5mm hex to expand the inside. Separately, slip the upper and lower portions of the lever guard together and estimate the height needed to cover the brake. Tighten those up with the 2mm hex. Slip that onto the bar end and snug it up with 3mm hex. There's an extra bar end that comes with the kit so that the other side matches. And that's it! Once again, I'm the Moto Dutchman. If this happens to be the first video of mine that you've seen, please consider subscribing where the bulk of my content is on the 1299. Thanks for watching. Until next time, aluminum. Since this cap is carbon fiber, let's see the difference between the stock cap and this one. The stock cap comes in around 245. The tech specs for this cap say that it's 100 grams, but actually it comes in below at 86.